Hi, my name is McCullough. Welcome to FabLab Fundamentals. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do the first layer calibration on a Prusa 3D printer. So let's get started. So to locate the first layer calibration, you wanna press on the knob and scroll down to calibration. And then from there, you could see the first layer calibration option. Uh, the wizard can also do the first layer calibration, but since we're just focusing on the calibration itself, uh, please select the first layer calibration. And then a screen will pop up showing if you wanna use the preset uh, Z height. So uh, if you restart the printer, it will start from zero. But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna continue. Then we wanna select our filament. As a reminder, FabLab only uses PLA. So please select PLA. And then the printer will do its thing, heat up. And as that's heating up, let's look at some examples of different Z height levels. So first, uh, from right to left, we have an example of too high, just right, and uh, too low. So starting from the right hand side, uh, you could see that the there's, there's separations between the different layer lines and also in some cases it's sticking up. This is how you can tell that the, the nozzle height um, compared to the surface of the build plate is too high. And then for the left hand side, we could see that um, there's ridges that form in between the layer lines. And in some cases, the filament will also get smeared onto the surface of the build plate. Uh, this could actually damage the build plate itself. So that's why we don't wanna go too low. And so we kind of want to find the in-between of those two extremes. And that is what the middle is shown. So there's no separations between the layer lines and there's no ridges that form uh, between the layer lines. So moving back to the printer, uh, you can see that it's been all heated up. And now it's going to run through its calibration. All right, once the calibration is done, you will get a little pop-up screen over here showing you can adjust the Z height. So going counterclockwise will increase that, or sorry, decrease the distance between the nozzle and the surface of the build plate. And then going clockwise will increase that value. So during this process, you kind of just want to play around with the uh, lowering and uh, high, raising the uh, nozzle. And you could also look at the build plate itself as it's extruding the filament. So once the first layer calibration is done, you want to check in this fill then piece here. And you could tell that there's no ridges, there's no separations in the layer lines. So that would be a, considered a good uh, Z height for this first layer calibration. And with that, that is how you do the first layer calibration on a Prusa 3D printer. 